So we have our weapon container that we made. Item, nothing, empty face. Um, I'll just use 10 slot bag again. This might be the button that gets displayed on your interface um, when you uh, when you click it when you click the button on the bottom right of your of your screen. Um, the other one that I set in the uh, in the item containers might actually be nothing. So um, so the classes that we can have in this container. I don't know why um, Blizzard made it like this, but we set the classes here, and you have to set them in the container. So it's a bit of a repetition, and I've actually had a mistake in my RPG for the longest time because I forgot to put weapon in here, and so my hero couldn't pick up weapons into his bag, and I was so confused why it wasn't working. So if you want this weapon container to pick up weapons and miscellaneous, you'd have to set it in the item container and set it again here. Um, I guess it might have some use, some reason why they did that, but I personally don't see it. Uh, and the alignment for this weapon container is going to be left. It, and because this is the weapon container, there's going to be no misc. Sorry about that. And then let's copy paste, and this is going to be the general bag. General bag. And same empty face, whatever. Well, I'll make it 12 slot. Who cares? And this is going to be able to have weapon and misc. And uh, this is going to be aligned to the right. Okay. And let's press OK. I think that's all we need to do here. Um, we can now go to our hero, Karas, and let's give him this ability. Copy, paste, energy, defense, and then add K, uh, Karas inventory. Okay, and I'm going to save, and let's go in game and see if I can pick up the weapon and start using it. And then we'll, uh, and I'll just drop a uh, zergling thing too. I th I if you, if you see short staff copy, it, it means that that's the Zergling blood. And if you just switch tabs and come back, then you can see it's proper there. So I should have probably given them different uh, things, but when you mouse over, you'll be able to see that they're actually different items. Okay, let's see. Um, got our guy here uh, with that hilarious icon. And I forgot to give it a tooltip. Um, or actually, the button itself that Blizzard has doesn't have a tooltip, so... Um, I'd actually have to go back in the buttons, find 10 slot bag, and fix that. I'm going to leave it for now. And we, Wow, that's so tiny. We can see that this is our weapon slot. Um, 10 slot bag. For, uh, we definitely make your own button for it. So um, I have a button like... Well, I'll, actually, I'll go do it because I want to make sure it's complete. But uh, this will be our weapon slot. You can see the empty face didn't really do much here. Um, you can close it. And then this is our four slot actual bag. So when I pick up this short, you can see the tooltip. And when I pick up uh, short staff, it should go into here. Yes, it did. And the icon for that is pretty hilariously wrong. And the button is pretty hilariously wrong. Um, so now if I drop this, my weapon's gone. I can't attack. And then Zergling Blood should go right in here. And there it is with the fungal growth icon, which is clearly wrong. So let me drop that, let me get my weapon, and shoot a zergling. And now if I drop my... Come on, inventory open up, stop lagging. Okay, if I drop my weapon and then try and attack, it's just not going to happen. So um, let's go back in and fix up the buttons, and then we'll continue on with the loot, the shop, and the selling, and all that stuff. So first off, let's go to buttons, and let's add a new button. And let's call this... Um, Weapons, click suggest, tooltip, opens your weapon slot, okay, icon, um, I'm just going to pick something random, the The most important thing was that we made the button in the f at, at all, um, something from tips is probably good, tips has some, the tips uh, category of icons have some pretty cool stuff. Um, let's just say that's our weapon icon, which is kind of random. And you could give it a hotkey, but I'm not. Uh, and then this will be bag. I'll just call it bag. Opens your bag. Okay, and the icon for this, um, something a little bit different, just so we can see it's differentiated easily. Um, let's put credit. We'll use this money money thing 
and um, and then also we need an icon for zergling blood. So it is pretty uh, time-consuming work just to make uh, one item because you have to make the item, the actor, and the unit, and then you have to make the button for it, and then you have to uh, make sure it has the right class, and it can go in the right con that class can go in the right container. So it is uh, RPGs do take quite a bit of work, but if you make a good one, you're pretty much set in terms of having a popular map uh, because I think the there aren't many RPGs out there, so. But the hard part is just getting one done. Um, so Zergling Blood, Blood of a Zergling. What a great tool tip that is. Um, and the icon for this, let's see. Um, bio sample, that'll do. And let's copy paste this and of course have one for the short staff. And let's see, okay. I really don't know what'll be good for the short staff, but uh, maybe this one. Kind of random, but um, deals XX damage with. So I'm just putting these temporary things in here, but. You could go ahead in yours and actually put real numbers in so people know. And then you could say like cells for whatever and actually give it a number there so people know. And um, so in advance for what we're going to do in a second, which is the hero the item shop, um, I'm going to actually copy paste this and make another button called purchase short staff. Click suggest, press OK. And that's all we need to do. Um, basically, actually we don't need to have the cells here. Basically the same thing, but just we need a purchase button for it. Um, and now let's go actually and fix the item stuff up. So on the item face is short staff. The face is going to now be, we can actually set it to be short staff so it has the right icon in your inventory. And same with Zergling Blood. We'll have the right, uh, the right button. And um, back in abilities inventory we can set the right icon here too so instead of 10 slot bag for your weapon we can actually say um, weapons and the other one I made for the general bag I think it was just called bag and perfect that's odd why is only weapon here why did it get switched that's weird Okay, so our weapon container is on the left and has weapon class only, and our bag, general bag, has misc and weapon. Okay, that's right. I don't know why that got switched. Huh. That's an odd one, but anyways, maybe it's my mistake. Um, so we got the buttons fixed now, so let's go to make a shop. So to make a shop, what you need is to use the train ability, which is what like a barracks would use, except you just make it train items, and they'll just go right into your inventory. It's just something that uh, Bifu figured out, and most of my hero stuff comes from stuff I learned from him. Um, and then you need the pawn ability, and of course the interact ability. So the interact ability will let you share control of the, the item shop, which lets you see all the items it's selling. And that's just how you have to... I think that's what was going on in the background in Warcraft 3 when you added a item shop ability to a building and in this case here we're, we're given a lot more freedom but we do have to do the extra work of making the interact the pawn and the shop itself as separate entities so first things first in the abilities let's make the shop interact click suggest and it's going to be of type interact and the range is going to be three um, Flags, auto cast, um, share control, and I think that's all we need there. Um, target filters, we want heroic only required. And um, uh, let's see, shop interact, auto cast range is three, auto cast filters needs to have heroic two. And um, alignment neutral is good. 
command buttons. I don't think we need to do this because it's going to be owned by neutral, so they'll never see it. Um, that's pretty much it for interact. And um, the building I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the uh, the forge building. So let's find the forge. Close this warning. Um, get rid of that. I think Q. I'm going to leave Q there. Build in progress, and I'll leave that there. Um, but the command card, we can get rid of this this stuff here. And the cancel buttons, press OK, and then we'll give it the ability um, shop interact, which I just made. OK. And we don't want power key user, we don't want to get rid of that. OK. In terms of other stuff, I don't think we need to worry too much. Of course, you'd want to give it the flag of uh, invulnerable because you don't want your shop to get killed. That would be ridiculous. Well, maybe you do, but that would be a different kind of map. Um, and now back to abilities, close the search there, and switch back to this map, data. Um, now we're going to add the actual uh, um, shop ability. So let's call this forge shop. You might have different shops, so I'm just picking that. And this is going to be ability train. So it's just like you'd make a, like a barracks train like to train marines or whatever. This is so that sort of thing. Um, let me just go through range two, flags, best unit, uh, okay. Um, info plus, here we go. So on the first thing, just double click. And uh, I hope I get all the flags here right. So the button for this is going to be P. And we made one called purchase short staff, which is perfect now. We can just click it in there. It's available, no requirements. Um, cost display. I don't think we have to check these, but um, it will cost mineral. Um, because remember, we did set the mineral cost of the uh, short staff back a while ago. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so you can pawn back the zergling blood, which will drop from the zerglings, and then you can just uh, use that money to buy the staff. But uh, I guess you already have to have a staff to kill anyway. So I've created kind of a loop there, but say you had more powerful items that you could buy then then it would actually be more useful so uh, let's see info unit this is the important field um, it's going to be the s short staff which is here okay mm, now we need to actually set the charges so it's gonna start with let's say three and when you use it, it's gonna be one and uh, actually, we'll just say one. Let's say it never, uh, it never, n it never runs out. So we'll just leave those at one and one. Um, but you could set the time to make it recharge back and stuff, so that people can't spam buy an item or something. Um, that's okay. And press okay. So now let's go to the forge. Go back to the abilities. Let's add. Um, Forge shop, I think is what I call it. Yeah, nice. I remembered. And in the command card, now let's go here. Click new button there, the green X, and search, search, search for um, purchase. Purchase short staff ability. Forge shop purchase short staff. And that's all you got to do. You got one item ready to sell, and hopefully that'll work okay. And back in abilities now, let's go add another one called Forge Pawn. This is to sell. Okay. And um, let's see. Flags. I think you want Smart. Let's see if it gives me a tooltip. It does not. Um, I think what Smart means is that if you set this range to 250, which is what I'm going to set it to, or even 500, the max range, um, so that if you see the if you see the store really far away on your map, um, if you're scrolling off off your way from your hero and you right click an item and sell to the store, your hero will actually run from 500 range from across the map and sell it at the max of two range, which which is whatever um, we set in the inventory ability or whatever for the hero. So 